Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Fancy living in a place where the chances of you getting struck by lightning once a day is a complete possibility? Probably not, but such a place does exist, and here, the lightning storm literally never stops. The area around the Catatumba River in Venezuela has been in the middle of a lightning storm for decades, and it seems that there is no end in sight. Scientists are also unable to explain the phenomenon. The lightning starts at around 7 o'clock in the evening and then rages all the way until sunrise. Many scientists have gone there to verify the claims of locals, and all have confirmed them, but no one is any closer to finding an explanation as to why it happens. Once, people hypothesized that it was due to uranium in the atmosphere, but that was quickly dismissed as a fringe theory. The thing is, no other explanation has come up at all, no matter how many times scientists visit and stare, and so the whole area remains a mystery. In this town, you'll be literally seeing double. On the surface, there's nothing remarkable about Kodini, a modest settlement in Kerala, India. It's home to around 2,000 families, but the remarkable thing is that there are at least 400 pairs of twins in those families. India has one of the world's lowest rates for pairs of twins born. The average is no higher than 9 per 1,000 births, but then again, the people from Kodini seem to have never gotten that memo. Twin births is a natural phenomenon, so there should be an explanation why this small town in India has so many of them, but scientists still have no concrete explanation for this phenomenon, and it's not because they weren't trying. For years, scientists have tried to explain this oddity, but they all come up with the same conclusion. It's unexplainable. Some say the explanation lies within the diet of the people of Kodini, but that avenue also led to a dead end. It doesn't appear that there's anything in the water or the food, though, as there's nothing out of the ordinary in their diet compared to other communities in the area. To add to the weirdness, there are reports that women who have married men from Kudini and moved there also gave births to twins. So what gives? There is a place in Pennsylvania where the rocks can sing, and scientists are clueless as to why they can do that. The Ringing Rocks Park is a seven-acre wooded area which is known for the massive rocks that piled up there. These boulders are special, however, as they make clear bell-like tones when struck, hence their name, the Ringing Rocks. Only about a third of the rocks ring, and for a long time why the rocks rang at all was unclear. However, in 1965, a group of scientists crushed, broke, and sliced the rocks. After performing numerous tests, they found that while all the rocks do in fact ring, they often do so at tones lower than the human ear can perceive. Furthermore, the exact mechanism by which they ring still remains elusive. They have, however, been used in a very unique concert in 1890. J.J. Ott used these ringing rocks exclusively during the performance, so you might say it was the very first rock concert. Have you ever heard about the Lost City of Gold? According to legends, there exists a lost city of gold somewhere deep in the Amazon jungle. While the existence of such a place can't easily be proven or disproven, at least one aspect of the story has been confirmed to be factual. The Boiling River. And yes, the Boiling River was found in the Peruvian Amazon, giving more credence to the City of Gold story. But the Boiling River itself was deemed an impossibility until it was discovered. The water in this river reaches temperatures of up to 196 degrees Fahrenheit, or 91.1 degrees Celsius. The water boils everything that touches it, whether that's unsuspecting frogs or fish that realize too late that the water is heating up. People are clueless as to what else could be causing the water to boil, as it behaves unlike any river anywhere else in the world. Some say it runs over a fault line in the earth, while others say the gods have created it, as they like to watch animals fall in and cook from the inside out as they try to escape. Are you one of those people who finds it hard to fall asleep? I am, and I've tried everything from counting sheep to glasses of warm milk, but none of them seem to work. Only if I knew that the solution to my problem would be solved by a trip to a certain city in Kazakhstan. Back in 2013, people living in Kalachi just started nodding off, and not only in their beds. 
People would succumb to sleepiness while at work, in school, buying groceries, or walking in the park. The thing is, it wasn't just an isolated case, only affecting a few individuals, the entire city was being affected, and the symptoms lasted for an entire year. Then, as suddenly as the symptoms appeared, it vanished, leaving doctors and scientists puzzled. Since then, some have suggested that the uranium mine under the city was to blame, as the carbon monoxide it gave off lessened the oxygen in the air and made people drowsy. That could be true, but then why would the effects just suddenly stop? And why did no one notice it was happening? Lake Vostok is a subglacial lake located in East Antarctica. Subglacial because it's buried under miles and miles of snow and ice. Scientists say that the waters there are thousands of years old and have never seen sunlight for the longest time. Yet, despite being one of the darkest, coldest, and most inhospitable places that can be found on Earth, scientists were surprised to find life down there. From what information I can gather, there are over 3,500 different species of bacteria living in the water, and they were unlike anything living anywhere else. Without access to sunlight, they'd evolved to survive on just the minerals in rocks and had learned to thrive in the icy cold and pure dark waters. Most interestingly of all, many of these extremophiles, as they're called, could easily live on Jupiter, making them thousands of times more indestructible than humans. We might not survive the apocalypse, but they definitely will. The Fire Eagle Nest, also known as the Potomskly Crater, is an anomaly located in the middle of the woods somewhere in Siberia. It is something so unique, outstanding, and mysterious that it would still puzzle scientists to this day. The first mystery is, no one actually knows how it was created. One theory states that it was created by prisoners at a top-secret Stalin labor camp, although the reason for them doing so is not stated. Some theories also say that it may be the result of a meteorite crashing to the Earth, or by volcanic activity in the area, or even by an underground hydrogen explosion, but subsequent studies veer away from any of these explanations. And of course, another theory states that the aliens did it. Even weirder, the trees closest to it have experienced extremely accelerated growth, just like those near infamous nuclear meltdown sites. Anyone who gets too close experiences extreme nausea and headaches. One explorer, Eugene Vorobiev, dropped dead of a heart attack just a few kilometers from the crater, despite being in perfect health. There's a place in the Chihuahuan Desert in northern Mexico where radio signals don't work and compasses spin out of control when placed near stones on the ground. It's called the Zone of Silence. It measures only 50 kilometers across, and it is located in the Mapimi Biosphere Reserve, a huge, mostly uninhabited expanse of almost 400,000 hectares, where the flat and desolate terrain is interspersed with lonely mountain outcrops. The disruption is believed to be caused by subterranean deposits of magnetite, as well as debris from meteorites. The zone's overall effects are disputed, but there's no doubt that the area, which sits on the borders of the Mexican states of Chihuahua, Durango, and Coahuila, has an abundance of celestial activity, including, some say, visits from UFOs and extraterrestrials. Now it's time for today's best pick. So if you find something online and want to know more about it, just send it over to us and we'll gladly look into it for you. Who knows, we might even feature it in a future video. This amazing light show in the sky may look like a scientific impossibility, but it's not. In fact, many people are fortunate enough to witness it every single year. Some of you might have actually already seen this in person. These amazing lights are known as the Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights. But for all its amazing beauty, what you may not know is its rather violent cause. Energized particles from the sun slam into Earth's upper atmosphere at speeds of up to 45 million miles per hour, but our planet's magnetic field protects us from the onslaught. As Earth's magnetic field redirects the particles toward the North Pole, the dramatic process transforms into a cinematic atmospheric phenomenon that dazzles and fascinates scientists and sky watchers alike. Not much is actually known about the Northern Lights, but what we know is that it is one of the most breathtaking events the universe has to offer. By the way, it also happens in the Southern Hemisphere, where they're known as the Aurora Australis. Deep in North Yorkshire, there's a cave called the Petrifying Well, where water runs down from the sides into the ground. People go there to leave everything from 
keys to teddy bears by the water, because when they return weeks later, they know that they will find the same items turned to stone. The petrifying process isn't really that uncommon. This process is responsible for the formation of stalactites and stalagmites in caves. What's quite amazing with the petrifying well is the speed at which it does the process. Stalactites and stalagmites usually take a few hundred years to form, but any item placed in the well turns to stone in just a matter of weeks. Know any other scientifically impossible places? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well as the notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time we upload new and amazing content just like this. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.